from the Legal Docs by Me Sports Desk. Here's Julie Bueller. No question, Super Bowl 51 will go down as one of the most remarkable games in NFL history. And of course, the New England Patriots, using the first overtime in Super Bowl history, mounted one of the most exciting and historic comebacks ever. And with their fifth ring, Tom Brady and Bill Belichick have now won more championships than all but three NFL franchises. Amazing stuff. But on the receiving end of that Pat's breathtaking win, a crushing loss for the Falcons. And one local man, well, he has a unique connection to both teams. Um, I've had the opportunity to make clothing for a lot of different shapes and sizes. Um, some are, I don't know if they are shapes or sizes, but they're just enormous people, you know. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and just your regular, you know, business guy. Based on El Paseo in Palm Desert, Randy Willard creates custom wardrobes for his clients. His business is called The Man Makes the Suit, and this man, well, he does make the suits. But the men he makes the suits for, such as Atlanta Falcons head coach Dan Quinn, who's seen here in Willard's custom outfit arriving in Houston for Super Bowl 51. Also, New England Patriots offensive coordinator Josh McDaniels, former NBA star Grant Hill, Timothy Bradley Jr., UCLA's head coach Jim Mora, country music megastar Darius Rucker's, and many more. The first thing I like to do is get to know who they are, you know, what drives their personality, and uh, take a look at what's really in their closet because it helps me develop a plan to really get more out of their look than they've probably ever experienced. An NFL coach, if, he, if they get talking football, it's a foreign language and few people can understand it. Have you seen some football coaches or players' eyes kind of gloss over if you're talking the fashion language? They actually, um, they, they get kind of quiet. They are quick to point out they might not want to show me what they've been used to wearing. The one thing that I've been able to experience working with athletes and then coaches is I have to tell my clients, you have to be willing to let go a little bit. You're going to have more fun with your clothing than you've ever had in your life, and it's going to stand out, and you're going to be a difference maker. And that's the same message you're sending to your players. They have to trust certain people that are around them. Is there anyone in the world of sports, maybe a Bill Belichick, that when you see him at a press conference, you think, oh, if only I could get my hands on that man's wardrobe? I see it every day of my life. I, I, the list is too long. <laughs> and while you might not be deplaning into NFL history as some of his clients, Willard still has some fashion tips that can help your wardrobe take off. First of all, don't be afraid of fashion. There, you'll figure out what works for you, you, what you, what you like and what you don't like. The other thing is don't try too hard. Um, keep it within your zone. Uh, accent um, in the right ways, in the right places. And Willard did say he was kind of rooting for the Falcons because he said Quinn is such a, quote, great guy. But he did acknowledge smart people don't bet against Brady and Belichick, as we saw in that <laughs> yeah. fourth quarter. As it turns yeah. out, yeah. Yeah, All so, right. Gino, your next fashion statement. There you go. There you don't go. be afraid of fashion, Send Gino. Send Mr. Willard by any time. <laughs> Thank you, Julie.